Hey everyone, hope you guys are all having a good day. Question of the day is, should you guys be selling your altcoins? This is something I'm seeing more and more and more in the comments, and it's making me a little bit more concerned for you guys because I think a lot of you guys put so much of your money into altcoins and not enough into Bitcoin or Ethereum to kind of stabilize things a little bit. So you guys are gonna have some options, but let's talk about like why this is happening here, just so you guys have an understanding of why you guys might wanna be buying, selling, or just doing nothing and just holding what you have. So, first of all, you guys have to understand that Bitcoin over the last few months, while altcoins are definitely falling down and falling down very, very aggressively, Bitcoin is actually holding up very, very well. You guys know that even right now at a very bad day for Bitcoin, it's still kind of hovering around 64, 65,000 bucks. That is a great price for Bitcoin to be at at this stage in the market. However, where all of the pain comes in and the focus of this video is, Altcoins had a run up usually from like October back over here till March. A lot of them had a very nice strong move. However, after we had that big batch of bad CPI data starting off in March, it really changed things up a little bit for us here where we started to see a lot of those tokens just come down 20, 40, 50, 60 percent plus over the last month and a half here which is not really what you want to see. And if you guys have been like me or many other people online, we've been dollar cost averaging this because the swing trades, at least for me, haven't been there just yet. And I've been proven right on that one so far. However, because everything is kind of up in the air right now, everybody's freaking out about what's going on. And because I believe Bitcoin is still going to break out, give it some time here. I'm still comfortable doing some dollar cost averaging right now. Everything that we're seeing is falling down so much. And the, the reason you guys are probably going to end up buying this for dollar cost averaging, if that's the way you want to go, is because all of a sudden you're getting massive discounts on these tokens. You can put in 20 bucks every week into your favorite tokens and, and so forth here. One of the things that I think you guys are going to have to navigate here, though, if you guys do want to start buying more tokens during these dollar cost averages, you're going to have to be a lot more picky. Look at what ran up a lot during the last cycle and try to buy some of that. Meme coins, again, there are going to be new meme coins today that are made that are going to be popping off during the altcoin season that are nothing like Turbo, nothing like Mog, nothing like Bonk and Pepe and stuff like that. There's going to be a whole new batch of those things that kind of come through the woodwork here. So keep your eyes and ears open for any opportunities you guys are going to see around there. On the other hand here, if you guys are not into meme coins, maybe take a peek at AI tokens, maybe some of the old dogs. You know, things like Matic and ADA, they have been doing very, very, very rough over the past few days. And even things like Solana. We did all the technical analysis for that one and it's hitting everything like we talked about. And it's, it's a shame because it just has not been a good experience for altcoins just yet. So what I'm doing personally is buying. But let's say you guys just don't want to do anything and you guys just want to hold what you have. At that point, you're going to see a lot of losses on your screen and a lot of red for quite a bit of time here because it will take time for all of that, you know, all those price drops to come back up. It's not going to come up nearly as easily as you would like it to, unfortunately. That being said, the easiest way to do this is simply just don't buy anything, hold what you have. You're going to see a lot of red. It's okay. And then maybe once things start to get a little more positive, then you guys can start dollar cost averaging because you don't know when this drop is going to finish off here. Bitcoin dominance is skyrocketing. That's great for us in the long term here, but altcoins can, can really come down quite a bit. So if you're looking for the easy way out, maybe the easiest way for you guys is just to not buy anything, wait for momentum to shift back into altcoins. And then once that momentum has shifted, you just start buying there. You're not going to get the best price. You're not going to have the best average. However, you will be more confident about that. Once you buy, everything's going to start going back up. The last thing here that you guys can do is start to sell some of your altcoins and you could have you know two different options with this one. You could sell and get out of the market completely or you could sell and wait to buy back in at a later time. This one is much more difficult because usually you know we have this feeling that if we were to sell, as soon as we sell, the market's gonna start skyrocketing back up and then we buy back in and then once you buy back in, you own less of the tokens you had at the beginning, so your investment has actually gone down, not up. So you end up with less tokens overall, if you will. That being said, some people like to do that as a chance to maybe save some money here and you know get out of the market and not increase their losses, especially if they have a higher leverage and they're afraid they might get liquidated. That might be an option for you guys going forward. On the other hand here, you guys could simply sell, get out, and just wait for a while. Maybe you guys buy back in, maybe you don't. Maybe you just ro rotate everything into Bitcoin. You kind of just wait for a few months. You have different options, I would say. One last thing about this, though. If you guys do want to sell 
and you're not entirely sure the best way to do it. If you want to still have some position in the market in case it does spike back up, you can just sell off 20%, 34%, 50%, something like that, and just say, hey, I'm scaling out half of my positions. I'm going to have a little more cash on hand. And if the market continues to drop, like we talked about this a few days ago, now the market's dropping again, you guys will have capital to deploy. So at the end of the day, you're owning more tokens. I think the best strategy for most people out there that are more aggressive, not necessarily more passive, is to find the best way for you to get more tokens. Whether that means you sell now, buy back a few hours later and get more tokens, whether you guys have been just dollar cost averaging and not really worrying too much about the huge moves as far as altcoins, dollar cost averaging, dollar cost averaging, dollar cost averaging. That still seems to be the way to go here and what I personally am gonna be doing. Now, because you know the market's all in flux here, I know I wish I had some better news for you guys, but the dollar index is going down a little bit today. We are at a level of resistance. That's kind of good to see. Maybe afterwards we can start to see Bitcoin try to curl back up on maybe the four hour charts or the one hour charts or even maybe the daily charts here. It looks like we're probably not going to have any crazy positive moves, possibly until Thursday, Friday or Saturday going into this weekend here. I don't think um, today or tomorrow is really going to be the best day for us to really find a lot of those like mini swing trades we hold for 24 to 30 hours. I'll let you guys know if I see any, but it still has been just a rough time out there. I was actually going to spend most of the day outside here today, but it's actually, um, it's sunny, but freezing cold. So I gave up on it. But yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking about this. Because the more I think about these altcoins, the more I'm thinking, wow, these are great prices. I got a dollar cost average into them, but I'm being a lot more picky this time. And that pickiness may help or hurt me. One of my goals this time around, I would say when it comes to meme tokens is really buy some of the meme tokens you like, have them, hold them for quite a bit of time, and you're just going to, you know, they're going to be volatile. We know that. However, if there's a new token that starts to come up and it's maybe around $150 million to $200 million market cap, and, you know, it's kind of a little bit known, but not really known too much, you know, a little, kind of under the radar, so to speak. You know, I, I might try to start going a little bit more of a YOLO on some of those lower market cap tokens. And with some of the extra cash I have on hand now from selling some of these tokens I have, Maybe I'll put like 200 to 300 bucks into a $50 million token, $100 million token, $200 million token, and, and just kind of see where they go. You guys know I just teamed up with uh, CoinW, and they're starting to do airdrops with tokens that are like $5 million market cap. That's kind of what I'm looking for right now, beyond just being able to swap and buy some of these tokens. I really want to see if they're on an exchange right now, and that makes all of our lives a lot easier as far as meme tokens. AI tokens, I still am going to dollar cost average into those. Metaverse tokens, I've sold off around 50% of those, and I'm just holding the rest. I'm not going to buy any more. M the Metaverse was already a big gamble in the first place, but it definitely has not been good so far for me, and it continues to get worse and worse and worse. Even some of the things like we talked about, Matic, ADA, uh, you know, Avalanche, Tron, and I like Tron a lot. All those tokens are coming down quite a bit, and I'm just not too comfortable um trying to do any type of major swing trades off of them. I think just buying a little bit of them as far as dollar cost averaging is your best bet, but only a little bit of dollar cost averaging, not going heavy. I'm okay at not hitting the bottom, not catching the bottom, the falling knife. As long as I see some stability, I can be much more aggressive as I dollar cost average some of those plays. But let me know, everybody. It's definitely going to be a hard time here. I know that. I'll see you guys probably later on tonight as far as the stream, but altcoins are definitely in a precarious spot. And once that dominance level is kind of achieved, they'll all go back up. I'm pretty sure of it here. Pretty sure. Not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure. That's going to spook a lot of people and get people really mad when the market starts to all of a sudden flip on a dime. Altcoins are booming up to the moon. And then all the people that sold or didn't take advantage of this opportunity to earn more tokens one way or the other. It's going to be a rough experience for them. And, you know, just be careful out there, guys.